In this lesson, we're going to cover how to create ordinate dimensions. Just like the baseline dimension tool, there are two different tools that are available. I'm going to switch over to the annotation panel. And again, I'm using the views.idw drawing, which is located in your chapter 5 folder. These ordinate dimensions that I'm going to place, they are associative, meaning that they will be tied to the geometry that I'm going to select. If that geometry changes, these dimensions will update to reflect the new values as well. So again, from the annotation panel, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start off with the second one, the ordinate dimension. I'm going to zoom up close so we can get a better look at it here. And I'm going to select a point in the view, and it's looking for the origin point. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use the inferred point method, so I'm just going to find that zero, zero point of the theoretical intersection. Now as I come back here, it's next asking me for geometry, so what I can do is I can select objects individually, I can do a window or a crossing, that's what I'm going to do in this case. Right click continue to place those dimensions in. So now if I right click done, these dimensions are individual, so I can drag them as you can see, they can go right over each other, Inventor doesn't care. They are basically individual dimensions that were created in one operation. So in this case, I'm just going to undo that. And let's take a look at the Ornit Dimension Set tool. So it's going to start off the exact same way. I'm going to select an origin point. In this case, I'm also going to use the inferred method. And we're going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to do a window, select my objects, right click, continue. And you can see here, as I move my cursor, I can go back and designate where I want them placed. In this case, let's just place them on the left side view here. If I right click, you see that we have some other options here. So do I want to allow the broken leaders, positive in both directions? And I'm going to accept all the defaults for now. And right click create. And let's take a look at the difference here. So now as I start to grab one of these dimensions, grip edit it, as you see as I move it, it will not allow those dimensions to roll over each other like the other ordinate dimension to allow me to do. If I grab the zero dimension, if I move that out, all of them are going to move with it. Now, you can make the origin different or change it. In this case, if I want the center of that hole to be my zero point, I'm going to move my cursor over that 45 millimeter dimension, right click, and you can see I have a whole bunch of options very similar to the ones that we had with the baseline dimension set tool. In this case, I'm going to say make origin, and you can see in this case, everything else is now being in relationship to that center of that hole. Again, if I right click, we have a whole bunch of options. Let's take a look at these. So in this case, let's look at the positive in both direction. So now we have the negative and the positive. Again, if you right click, if you reverse that direction, you can see I now have negative going in the vertical. Probably not what I want. So let's reverse that back where it probably should be in the first place. Again, if I right click under those options, so if you uncheck the align members, I can go back and move these out independently of each other. Again, probably not a real good idea. So I'm going to bring that back, bring them all back in one nice straight row, make it look a little bit nicer. Let's right click again under the options. I can show the direction. In this case, what it's doing, it's going to add an arrow showing which direction is positive. The other things that we can do here with the continuous running, it will add dimension lines to show how those dimensions are actually being placed. Again, that's entirely up to you and your company standards if you're going to do that or not. You can go back and you can delete one of these members from here by simply moving your cursor over that dimension, right click and delete member. So let's go ahead and delete out a couple of these. And the exact same step here if we want to go back and add one of those members back in, 
Just move your cursor again over any one of those because the whole set's going to highlight. Click Add Member. Select your point, or in this case, we can go back and do the exact same thing for the bottom point as well. And all of our dimensions will be updated to reflect that change.